Hey there, would you like to create amazing stories combining your imagination, some random prompts for inspiration and a bit of dice rolling here and there? Well, maybe this app is for you. I'm going to talk about Poom Companion, the app to play plot and folding machine in your mobile phones or in your computer and whenever you like, wherever you would like to. So let's talk about that and maybe we are going to learn something together. So what is this app exactly? Poem Companion is made and based on the plot and folding machine, which is a framework for developing stories and doing storytelling using dice and random prompts that give you ideas. In this game I'm playing Clagan in the Stone Age. Uh, this is a game that was actually not set up by myself, but rather from the community of Plum Companion in the Discord server, where they off we offered as part of an event a pre-made world for all players to play in the same universe. And I have created my character there and started telling a story. So what you see in the app here is in the middle is my writing, my my characters talking to each other, things happening, dice rolling, um, some storytelling like describing the scenes and so on. This is the core part of the app. On top of that there is a plot track. It's a way for structuring the story, for following um, a certain guideline for how the story develops and in a way helps me figure out how long I've been playing and when do I want to reach a conclusion, uh, which in this hobby is quite challenging. When it comes to playing the plot and folding machine, the framework offers you essentially two main and most important tools. The first one are the beats, the plot beats. The plot beats are important moment in your story that you think are going to make progress in your plot track. That's over here. We open the door in the dungeon and I really have no idea what's on the other side. Plot and Fold Machine give me an idea for a beat and it says, oh, when you open the door, it leads to an interesting location. There is a way in this dungeon room maybe to access the crystal cave of glowing eyes. As you begin playing and you take the steer of your characters, you might have questions. Hey, is there anybody? in the room and then you might ask a yes or no subjective question and then it says yes there is somebody but but you don't see them so as you can see the plot and folding machine gives me prompts and answers to my questions they are in vague form i make something out of them and i continue to see the world from the perspective of my character there is so much to explore playing with the oracles there are multiple oracles you can play with as you can see they pop up in big in your screen uh, so you have time to think and reflect about what they mean. To my right side, um, now there is a panel full of characters and locations where we have an overview of what is this world made of for this particular plot we are unfolding. So we have the characters that are relevant to the story, certain locations that are around us. We can even add compendiums like custom documents where we, where we speak about the world in general if we want to take notes about um, politics or economics or crime or anything that is like general world building uh, fits here. And one of the new features also allows adding PDFs in, in the compendium that allowing you to add system rules, world building documents and other things you might have as part of your game. Coming back to it, what is cool about the new character sheets is that you can fully focus on taking journals and journaling those characters, uh, creating tabs to track their stats. But on top of that, the image editor got so powerful that you can use it as a character sheet editor. That means you can upload um, a character sheet and write on top and keep it up to date, move the skills around and do things with it, such as, I don't know, edit the stress points. So it got very powerful. Other shortcuts allow also to pin the images um, around so you can access them from anywhere wherever you are in the app and uh, have those character sheets handy. On top of that, map management and editing also got very good because now you can um, add tokens to it which are like resizable and positionable and you can also add a set of generic uh, indicators and markers in your map to do certain things. Um, you can also add multiple of them that are pre-included in the app. Yeah, remember you can share your stories in PDF format, so you can also share your stories outside the app. There's so much to explore. Uh, you can even take some voice notes 
if you don't like much writing every single thing you can enable the voice recorder to add certain voice notes in your game um, you can also make use of random tables which by the way there is a member in our community um, called squishy jellyfish that is uploading and sharing with the community amazing random tables to use in the app because you can import them um, so you can use them it's like okay a visions table and uh, you can bring that table there you can also create your own tables by pressing here this tool button uh, create create table and uh, give it a name something like weather and then you say rain wind i don't know sunny um, and very 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 easily create your own tables for your specific kind of game so you say okay i want to randomly pop up an idea of my particular um, need and kind of game so I hope I'm not going so fast, but I'm just giving samples on how you can use this app to develop amazing stories, journal your characters, journal your world, uh, include tables and, and random sheets if you'd like, cheat sheets, your characters' images. Um, you can even edit them if you'd like to give them a certain effect and uh, play around the image editor that's contained there. And last but not least, you can template everything. So for example, let me go to one character that doesn't have one and press this button here. Um, I have a fate accelerated sheet that I just loaded and added to the character and they are ready to edit and work on. So as you can see, it's pretty cool, pretty handy uh, to add a template for a character sheet and the community is also sharing sheets on the Discord server. So make sure you check out the content sharing channel uh, to download character sheets created by other members and feel free to contribute your own. On top of that, you can template entire characters. So if you want to take this character as a whole and say, I want a template out of it, uh, you can very easily press create template and create a template out of this character. So you can like create copies of that character and it comes like with this, the character sheet you, you already created. Um, with the notes that you added so you can even add here certain things the journal editor also got very very powerful you can add titles and big text um, if you take a look around and slide to the right you can see many other tools such as uh, adding tables which you can uh, use for different purposes uh, you can also add images separators and so much more with that said, how do you bring it all together? Well, it's up to you to explore and I really hope you like what you saw so far because there's so much more to explore. Uh, for starters, I would like to show you just very briefly the game creator because that's how we start all this. The game creator is a step-by-step -step guide using the plot and folding machine rules to set you up for your own game because in the end you're going to be creating those story so you're gonna set up a plot scope it's like what kind of problem you want to tackle in your next adventure or story uh, the plot track which is the bar above that has a certain structure to guide you there is also a plot focus that is uh, you can use to customize like what kind of random events you get the most often so for example if you choose exploration it's not the same that if you get treasure hunt um, you get different sort of results in the random events that you get um, there are also game or world elements these are all plot nodes so essentially part of your universe that you want to make relevant in that specific game you are going to play so you add things like the factions that are around it and what kind of things happen around your characters but without too much spoiler ahead they are just prompts for yourself to start thinking what is your next game going to be about and then you can set up certain characters or your own characters before you start and bring this to the game where you have a nice blank state of the app. So lots of information, I am sure, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, I'm using different skins. There is also the horizon theme if you like the sci-fi tone, um, or you can switch to the architect if you are into bright themes. So plenty of things for you to explore. I hope you have fun, enjoy this app, support the project by purchasing the app, recommending it to others. If you like it, rate it and uh, feedback is welcome. The app is growing with your suggestions and um, I don't know, plenty of things to say, to share. I hope you guys um, like what you've seen 
And uh, until next one, have fun with the Pum Companion Plot and Folly Machine. This is Jensen Vars, and stay tuned. Bye bye.